Marjorie Taylor Greene has been suspended from Twitter for spreading falsehoods, and the timing is perfect because a recent beach photo of hers has the entire social media platform and the rest of the internet mocking her feet. Spoiler alert, they're gross. A new photo of Marjorie Taylor Greene on the beach with her fantasy boyfriend, partner in slime, Matt Gates, has surfaced and... Uh, many just couldn't help but notice her feet. Like, you don't want to look at the feet, but you can't help but look at the feet. Here is the photo of Matt and Marjorie, and I challenge you, try not to look at the feet. You, you couldn't do it. Yep, there they are. Where did the rest of her toes go? Marjorie Taylor Greene says she doesn't believe in evolution, and I guess it's a hard concept for her to grasp since she hasn't evolved. Look at those feet! Oh my gosh! My feet are why cousins shouldn't mate. At this point, I don't even care if Marjorie Taylor Greene is anti-mask. I just want her to be pro-shoes! Marjorie Taylor Greene is probably the only person who looks better in Crocs. Cover those up. Cover those up. I don't care what you use. Several others have suggested that they resemble that of a platypus. Uh, when I search Google for a picture of a platypus to put here, I was given this. Can a platypus kill you? Can I have a platypus as a pet? Can a platypus kill a dog? How poisonous is a platypus? Yeah, the internet. This is why you don't Google health questions. Many people on the internet have pointed out that Marjorie Taylor Greene's feet look like a cloven hoof. And uh, this makes sense as she did go to a formal meeting and protest for her right to have a statue of Satan in her backyard. This really happened. Me personally, when I see that photo, I just don't understand how Dog the Bounty Hunter can catch people with feet like that. <laughs> They're the same person! After Marjorie Taylor Greene's Twitter suspension ended, uh, she tweeted this, communist-style Twitter ban press conference happening now, and... HIPAA, Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, passed by Congress and signed into law by President Bill Clinton in 1996. HIPAA, Health Information Privacy Protection Act, invented by people on the internet during the COVID-19 pandemic. It is total nonsense. HIPAA is a federal law that protects sensitive patient health information from being disclosed without the patient's consent or knowledge. This only pertains to healthcare providers, health plans, healthcare clearinghouses, and business associates of the other three. Proof of vaccination has historically been required for registration for school, travel to certain countries, and for employment in certain fields. I've filmed television shows and movies and done comedy in 35 countries, and a lot of places you have to have visas and vaccines up to date. It's not fair that I'm charged full price at the nail salon when I only have half toes. MAGA tears. Also in the news, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had a visit to the White House where we got an unexpected speech from Tom Brady who, well, slammed Trump a bit. Um, but we found our rhythm. We got on a roll. Not a lot of people, uh, you know, think that we could have won. And um, in fact, I think about 40% of the people still don't think we won. I understand that. You understand that, Mr. President? I understand that. Yeah. And personally, you know, it's nice for me to be back here. We had a game in Chicago where I forgot what down it was. I lost track of one down in 21 years of playing. And they started calling me Sleepy Tom. <laughs> Why would they do that to me? <laughs> so, uh... It's a big change from a moron giving people a platter of hamburgers. Trump is not in the White House and he's never gonna be in the White House again. MAGA tears. I'm sorry, but you're irrelevant, wrong, and condemned for the lies you peddle. MAGA tears. Looking for your safe space now? MAGA tears. This guy is annoying and obviously doesn't get it. MAGA tears. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and check me out on Spotify. I am a stand up comedian. I have three albums there. You can stream them for free. That's a pretty sweet deal. If you want to have a friend or colleague roasted or congratulated, you can book me on Cameo. If you're out, be kind to each other, distance when you can, wear a mask if they ask you. 
Just be cool. Life's short. Have fun. Be kind. Take care.